Hi, I'm Sharon. And hi, I'm Rich, better known as The Envoy. Mm -hmm. And welcome to our show. Uh, it's a little bit late today for several reasons. I think we were going to do it earlier, but they decided to cut down the remaining trees in front of our house. Oh my gosh, it was so noisy. Oh yes. my gosh. I mean, we went from a whole bunch of giant pine trees in front of our house to nothing. <laughs> A big giant empty space. So, and the second reason we're late is World Cup. Unfortunately, I am really sorry for my English fans. I was going to wear this for the show. I really was. I have an English jersey and I am a big English fan, but it was not meant to be. So, what can you do? So, it is about 10 minutes to 5. Oh, and notice my beer glass. World Cup 2010. Who won in 2010? Anybody remember? I know. Because they beat the team I love. Okay, Spain tell us. beat Germany. Okay. So it is about 10 minutes to 5 on Wednesday, July 11th, 2018, Eastern Time. And yeah, the World Cup game between England and... Croatia. Croatia just ended and England... Did not fare well, unfortunately. No. We didn't play very well. I didn't think they did. Mm -hmm. It looked like Germany, dazed and confused, as far mm. as I was concerned. Mm. But that is not good. But yeah, that was too bad about England. I know you were excited about the game. Mm -hmm. And yes. But, hey, look what happened to Germany. At least they lasted longer than Germany. Yeah, that's true. That's very, very true. All right, anything else new, my love? No. No. All right. Well, we'll see you next week. And the other thing is, just so you know, there's like birds cheeping everywhere. So you're going to hear that in this video for sure. I can hear them right up there. And you hear them worse than I do with your new hearing aid. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little crazy, but that's okay. I like birds. It's cool. All right, so... Cheap. Mm, very loudly. This is not a show about sports. Nope. God forbid, because I know nothing and I'm not really that into sports. This is a knitting show. So, yeah. And that, and that's a World Cup. So as far as I'm concerned, World Cup's over. I'm not interested oh, okay. in France and I'm certainly not interested in mini Russia, Croatia, or wherever they're from. I don't mm -hmm. know where they're from. They're mm -hmm. part of Russia. I have no idea where they're from and I really don't care. So to me, the World Cup's over. So now you get back to knitting. Probably something I know less about than sports is geography. <laughs> I'm terrible, so never ask oh. me geography question. <laughs> Sorry. There's a little donut hole in my education. Back, back when I went to school in the 60s and 70s, they apparently decided not to teach it. So I'm not so great with geography. Anywho, that's a little more, more information that we need to know. All right, so let's talk about knitting then shall we knitting yes i knitting. need to get back to knitting tomorrow i, need to start back I know on you my keep shawl. saying that you keep saying that but I was world, world cup and there's a lot to do around here i was actually going to have you knit today and then you said no i have to watch the world cup and i said okay we'll knit tomorrow and i threatened to bite you if you made me <laughs> i've been doing lots of knitting of course as usual and let me show you what i've been working on Plus, I have to do the whole yard, all my lawn, with a hand mower because our tractor was in for service for a good number of days. We have an acre of land, and it's a pain in the neck to mow it. So, Rich has been doing it since he retired. I used to hire somebody, and then they were terrible. Yeah. And so, Rich said, I'm just going to mow the lawn. And it just takes time. It really does. It's not it's so not bad. I don't mind doing it, but it's so hot. It's been so hot. It's been really you hot. You die out there. I mean, you're walking around with this. Even though it's self-propelled, it's like, oh, man. The weather got cooler, and then it got hot again, and now it's cooling off again. But that's just summer. Okay, so I've been working on my Comfort Fade Cardi. And I was hoping to have a finished sleeve to show you guys, but I don't. This, I'm almost finished with the first sleeve. And oh, I'm knitting, good. thank you, I'm knitting the sleeve inside out because I, then I can knit stockinette. Um, and 
yeah here is the sleeve it's super pretty I'm not gonna turn it inside out to show you the wrong side this is the side that you're supposed to see with the sweater and the pattern is comfort fade cardi by Andrea Maori I dyed the yarn inspired by um, the sample that she knitted out of so I love it I it's coming out great so look at all those ends though. I like, yeah, I like the little sleeves there, a little yeah, design I think you, at the end. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's garter stitch at the end and then you and then you do some fading. And I just lost a bunch of stitches on my needle, so let me pick those up. <laughs> I don't really want to yeah, lose stitches. Yeah, it's a knitting show, so why not? So I'm knitting the, the sleeves on Magic Loop. And I am a Magic Loop knitter. Um, I don't usually use DPNs. I usually use a 32 inch needle. And my needle of choice is Addy Rockets. They're my absolute favorite needle. I use them for everything across the board. I am not a wood person. Um, high, high sharps are too sharp for me. Addy Rockets, not the turbos. Turbos are too dull. But Addy Rockets are the perfect point. And these are Addy Rockets, and I think I'm knitting, this, these are a size 5, which I believe is a 3.75 millimeter. I don't know. I could be wrong, because I'm American, and I, <laughs> I talk about needle sizes in American, which is a size 5. So, yeah, I've knit the body of the sweater on a size 6, which is a 4 millimeter needle, which that I do know. So coming out great I absolutely love it this is a singles base that I used I don't have it in the shop yet and I'm really very happy with how it's knitting up and wearing as I knit it so it's it's great so that's project number one moving along slowly love this color oh I was just showing my little knit style pin. Yeah, we'll talk about those pins in a little while. I have a story to tell about oh, them. Oh, okay. So, project number two is living in my Tabby Tans bag that Donna sewed for me. I had to have one, and it matches the project. So, this project is the Matham Shawl. And this project... I started it like two days ago, no, let's see, today's Wednesday, three days ago. I decided to knit it on a road trip that we took to visit your daughter and her children in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And it was a really fun road trip. We had a nice afternoon visiting. It was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. And I started this project. This is the Matham Shawl by Helen Stewart. And I got pretty far on it. Um, I am almost ready to start it's a um, half pie. I'm almost ready to start the fifth set of increases and then it'll slow down quite a bit but yeah I'm almost done with section one. I can't believe how fast this is going but the thing is I am a shawl knitter. Oh yeah. I would rather knit shawls than anything else even though I enjoy garments I just but shawls just soothe my soul. They're my favorite. So, That's why I'm going back to my shawl. Yeah, I know. I love knitting shawls. Love it. I'm, I'm definitely a shawl knitter. And I really didn't have a shawl um, like this on my needles. And it makes me very, it's been making me so very happy to work on this. I absolutely love it. Again, I'm using Addy Rockets, size six, <laughs> four <laughs> millimeter needle. I don't usually talk about needles. I use Addy Rockets. It's my favorite. I, I, you know, if I don't ever Addy Rocket, I'll use a Haya Haya Sharp. I recently um, organized all of my needles, and I may do a little vlog tutorial-ish post about it. And they're all nice and organized, perfectly organized, and I can find them very easily. And I'll talk about that another time. And I only 
only had one other project that oh, I've been working on. This I'm gonna week. wear. I want to finish my shawl so I can wear it to Scotland. Oh my gosh, yes, that would be that's amazing. I want that fucking complete shawl. Yeah. Around with oh, that'd be I awesome. Made. You you have a lot of time, so you'll do it. Yes. Although it's funny because I'm going to SSK next week, and I was going to make stitch markers for trades, and I had I've had the materials for a couple months now. Have I made a stitch marker? No. <laughs> I had plenty of time. I don't know if that's going to happen. Sometimes you just lose your mojo. No, I'm just busy. I, I honestly am busy working. Oh yeah, you do a lot of dying. It's not like you. It's, yeah, I'm not sitting around eating bonbons. I'm no. working. I really am. I'm working hard. So anyway, third project to show you is another shawl which is making me super, super, super happy. This was a project that I kind of put down and now I picked it back up again and... Another shawl? Yes. It's a brioche. So it's a different kind of, it's a different style of knitting. Style? It's a different type of knitting stitch that I'm using on this shawl. And I absolutely love it. So when I feel like knitting a little brioche, I knit on this. So this is the Le Milieu shawl by Mina Phillip knitting expat and I adore it. The gray side is La Bienemy in the Rhinebeck colorway and the colorful side is My Hand Dyed Yarn in Twilight Princess colorway and I love how these look together. I just it's getting bigger right? Yes. It takes a really long time to knit this because it's brioche and you knit each row twice. Oh. So when I, I'm on this wrong side now, so I'll knit all the way this way with gray. What did you knit it twice for? Because that's how brioche works. Oh. You knit it, you knit it. So see this gray strand right here? Mm -hmm. So I will knit this row with that gray strand all the way to the end. And then I'll slide my needle back down and I'll knit the row again with this bluish yarn. Oh. That's how it works with brioche. I wonder if it takes so long. It takes a really twice long time. It, it, it takes twice as long because you're knitting each row. But it's very squishy, feel it. Hmm, it is. It's really nice and squishy. Not that I want wool on me right now. But um, I'm really loving this. There is a technique to knit brioche. Um, it's called one, I guess it's called one pass brioche where you knit the row only once using two strands. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So Thomas just joined us. I knew he would because he likes hearing our voices. Hey, buddy. He's rubbing up against your um, English jersey. English jersey. Oh, he's all cuddling up next to it. Hi, do. He's so cute. Yes, you are. You're wagging your tail. Hey, you going to sit and listen to us? He loves to listen to our voice when we record, and I think he just likes to be with us. He's just a, such a people cat. He, I've had, I have workers if they, I need something fixed and they come to my house. I had the cable guy in one time and he, he's, he was working upstairs on, on my cable and Thomas ran right up to him, started rubbing up against him, meow, 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 wanted pets. I'm like, oh my God, this poor cable guy. <laughs> But Tom, that's the kind of cat he is. He's very friendly. If you came to visit us, he'd be all over you because he loves people, especially strangers. So it's kind of weird, right? As long as you don't look like a chipmunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're safe. Um, yeah. One time, I probably told this story, but I was sitting out here and I see him and he has a mouse and he's playing with the mouse. And next thing I know, he eats the mouse live, oh. swallows it whole. I was like, whoa. Dude. I wonder if it wiggled on the way down. Oh my god, he had a, he has a huge <laughs> mouth and he just swallowed that thing. I was like, really? Whew. Anyway, I actually watched a, um, a documentary one time on cats saying that a mouse is the perfect food for a cat. Just genetically. It just has all the moisture they need, it has all the nutrients they need, the fur, you know, um, axes, you know, roughage. Sorry if that was too much information. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Probably more than people need to know. Yeah, probably. Sorry. I didn't mean to get off on that. So anyway. Whoever knew. I am knitting 
knitting this brioche again. This is an Addy Rocket. This is a size three Addy Rocket. Do not ask me the millimeter size, I have no idea. But yeah, I knit brioche really loosely. I think she recommended a four and I, or maybe even a five and I just kept going down needle sizes because my brioche is super loose and I know that. So that is all I've been knitting. That is it. That's enough. Mm -hmm. At least I'll have something to show next week, I yeah. promise. Is there anything else you have to share with us? Mm. You have things to share with us. I know you do. Do we have a giveaway coming up? No giveaways, huh? Not, No, not today. I didn't have a giveaway last week. No. Anyhow, I got, we have a new guest star. We have a new guest star this week. And mm -hmm. I kind of teased it on Instagram. I've been really having fun with Instagram stories. So if you guys are interested in that, follow me there and watch our stories. It's kind of fun. Nope, oh, there he goes. He hates crinkly paper. Yeah, it's really windy today. So the, the bag was blowing away. But anyway, yeah, I guess star. Uh-huh. Russell Crowe wanted to come on our show, but I said, I'm not. Nah, forget I, it. Well, know, I wouldn't logistics want... were too I'm not a big fan much. of Russell. No, I'm not that crazy about him either, so I told him no thanks. Ooh, what guest star would I want? If I could pick anybody, who would I have on the show? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Who's my... I don't even have a favorite actor. I think for eye candy, maybe the actor who plays Jamie on Outlander. <laughs> Just so I can look at him. <laughs> I don't know. Who would you have as a guest star? As the Atomic an Blonde. Oh yeah, who who's who plays Charlie her? Charlize Theron. No. Oh, Charlize Theron. I don't. I can't pronounce her. Charlene. Charlize. Yes. Charlize. The girl can kick some nasty. Butt. I know. I think you watched Atomic Blonde about fifteen times. Yeah, you did. <laughs> that's okay. I'd even take a beating by her. I mean, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was on HBO. So anyway, take that as you will. So uh, we do have a new guest star, not an actor. No, but on his way, and here he comes. <laughs> oh, hi there. Hi there. What's your name? He doesn't talk. He doesn't talk? A parrot that doesn't talk? What's your name? Really, dude? Ark! Ark! <laughs> oh, Ark. It's Ark. Ark? Nice to meet you there, Arg. Arg! Nice to meet you, Arg. Arg! <laughs> we have to teach him some. You're a speech pathologist. I am a speech we pathologist. Teach him some words. By tra okay. I'll teach him some words. Okay. Are you ready? Arg! <laughs> okay. How Mom, about look, I got a bird. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say yarn? Arg! No, that doesn't look that doesn't very good. Can you say knitting? Ah! I swear to God, we did not rehearse this. I haven't seen this thing. I he got. How come he's not very colorful? He's only red. Oh. He's not very colorful. Oh, I know. He doesn't like being um. Touched. Can you say cracker? Ah! Well, what good is he if he can't talk? Hmm. Can you say gin? What kind? <laughs> Good stuff, Plymouth. <laughs> Anyhow. Oh, gosh. He needs a name. He does need a name. I was thinking of something really cool like Polly. Mm, overdone. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. No, that's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. We need a name for him. Okay. So let's have a contest. Okay. Name the parrot and you win something. What? Something. You're going to win it some uh, some yarn probably from my stash. <laughs> but it's it'll be good. Yes. I promise. And just come up with a name for the little parrot, right? So leave a comment down below and name our new guest star or co-host or whatever. How does pork chop feel about this guy? I don't know. Bork, where are you? She's hiding, I think. Here, let me put her on. I'll... 
Hi there. I don't do voices very well. Rich does voices really well. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> He's scary. I know. He is yeah, kind of scary. I don't like him. <laughs> ah! Oh jeez. I want to go home. Ah! Easy now. Don't go pecking a poor little lamb. Can I go home? Yes, you, you may go home. home. Okay, I'll go in your knitting bag. Yes. yes, you can go in my knitting bag. Okay, bye. Ah! I'm running away. Okay, anyway, now, well, here comes the policeman. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, name the parrot, put a comment down, give a good name, and you will win a skein of yarn. Yes. Pro again, probably, I have some beautiful things in my stash that I need to find new homes for, so. Hey, look, he's got, what's this? Like little legs? Oh, my gosh, if you guys want spinning fiber... Let me know if you're a spinner. I have some gorgeous spinning fiber, and I'm not spinning enough, so I want to de-staff some of that. So. Yeah, so depending on what you like, a skein of yarn or spinning fiber. Yeah, let me know. Just let, Just know let when, us know down below. When you put in a comment to the name, mm -hmm. right? Okay, I think it's time we move on, okay? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Have a good time. I'm afraid to shake his little wing because I think he's going to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, you're pretty popular, aren't you? Yeah, I, well, okay, none of your guest stars right really along. like me. Okay, let's talk about Oof. let's talk about the shop. You okay. did a lot of yarn dyeing here today. I did. So let's talk about my brand new shop that oh, opened yeah. last week. Okay, so I am almost all the way off of Etsy. I still have Comfort Fade Cardi sets on Etsy, which is fine because people who don't know me we'll search for those on Etsy and I actually somebody actually bought one on there this week so I'm gonna leave those up but the majority of my yarn is on my new website which is at knitstyleyarns.com so I have a couple stories to tell you about the opening of the website first of all Thursday morning I opened it at noon on last Thursday Thursday morning I was going crazy just doing last-minute things just to make sure everything was okay and getting it all ready and there's a knock at our door no one ever comes to visit us, ever. <laughs> a knock on our door? There was a knock on our door. That's not good. No one knocks on our door. No one knocks on our door. We live on a main road. No one, no one, except maybe Jehovah Witness. Sometimes they knock on our door. So anyway, knock on the door. Go to answer the door. It's FedEx. And they gave me a package. And I saw who it was from. And I got so excited so weird two hours before I opened my shop my brand new knit style show pins came in the mail all the way from the UK because that's where I had them oh, yeah that's where I had it them fell made. down I you lost did? it you lost and you lost your pin yes we'll find it it's right here so anyway I'll show you the pin I love this pin I had it specially designed it is, I want to get your face not in You're it. from the UK, huh? It came from the UK. Whoa. It's on my backpack. It is a martini glass with two yarn balls, a pink one and a blue one. The blue yarn ball is sparkly because that represents you, my dear, mm -hmm. because you're very sparkly. And I absolutely love it. So if you guys. How many balls were on there? Two. Okay. If you guys That's would like, normal. if you guys would like a knit style pin of your own, two balls. <laughs> Took you a while. Now, there, Sharon. I'm you talking. <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying to sell my pins, our pins. I <sighs> lost mine. Well, don't look for it now. We'll find oh. it. Okay. So I'll anyway. Step on it, my bare feet. I know. It's a beautiful pin. I Thank must you. Admit. This is the knit style show pin. If you would like one, they are available in the shop. They are ten dollars which is what everybody charges for pins. They're enamel, they're beautiful, with a little sparkle, I love them. It says knit style on it. And if you live in the UK, do not purchase the pin on my shop unless you're buying yarn to go with it. Send me a message using the contact form or send me an email at Sharon at knitstyleyarns.com and I will send you an invoice and I will ship those out in a first class envelope 
and the shipping is under three dollars. I mailed two out today and it only cost like two ninety five to ship them. So oh, if you want okay. just a pin, yeah, if you want yes. just a pin, um, on the way. I'll just send a yeah, I'll just send a and little Claire. small envelope with the pin inside and we're all set with that. Okay, so that was the first thing. I was super excited about my pin. I'm wearing it on my backpack. I had one on my shirt. You'll find it. <laughs> I found your pin. Oh boy, where was it? It was under your chair and it was face uh, down. It looks so it like was rock. black and it looked like a rock, but I found it. Oh, so here's you, your pin. You can put it on your hat. I am. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh my God, that bird. So I told you guys last week to sign up for my newsletter and you'd get a 25% off coupon code. I tested it last week. It was working fine. And then at the last minute, I decided to change my theme of my store, and it does not work with my theme. Uh. So the newsletter link did not work, and it was driving me crazy. I'm trying to fix it. It's still not fixed, so I'm working on it. So the coupon code is KNITSTYLE25. I'll put it down below. It's now activated for multiple uses. So if you used it last week, you can use it again. Knit, knit Style 25. You can use it on skeins of it that have been in the shop for a while. You know, skeins, anything in the speckles and in the tonal sections. You can use, um, you can use Knit Style 25 and get 25% off. The other one um, was Free Ship. I've also taken the restrictions off of that. If you used it once, you can use it again and again. It's good for another week. Both of those coupons are good for another week. So links down below to the coupon codes. I'll also put them down here. And yeah, so I apologize for the newsletter thing. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, there's over a hundred of you signed up. Thank you very much. I'm going to be sending out a newsletter with a link to you know opt in because i want you guys to opt in and another link if you want to un unsubscribe <laughs> will you do my newsletter i may i'll think about I it i would love it if you did our newsletter i think you would you would really write a cool newsletter so anyway other than that the shop is going very smoothly all orders that were made last week. There were several orders, thank you so much, last week, and they've all been shipped out except for one because it was a bag order. So I dyed the yarn, that, that should be ready. And yeah, so I have, you know, I have some yarn to show. Good. Oh. This yarn will not be on sale because it's, you know, new. You just give it to me and I'll stack it on the chair when I'm done. So, Moving forward, all my listings now are going to be by color. So you're going to click on a colorway and you can purchase. Um, they're all the same. They're not all. They're all the same color, but they're different bases. So yeah. you're going to click on a color and then you can order the base underneath the color. So I have several oh, of these. Oh, okay. This is tortoiseshell, a gorgeous fall color. It's a kitty collection color. I love it. So that is tortoiseshell. Okay. A brand new kitty color Ooh. that I absolutely adore. Can you guess what this one's going to be called? No, calico I did already. Calico oh. has white usually. Oh. This looks like the cat someone posted online that blended in with the wood floor. You couldn't tell where yeah. the cat was. So what's what do you think this kitty color is? What kind of cat has these colors? An orange cat. Yes! This is ginger cat. Very nice ginger. Oh. You know, like you're a redhead? Mm-hmm. Ginger cat. Our son is a redhead. He's a ginger. I'm actually a ginger as well, but I color my hair <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm a redhead but blonde I'm actually strawberry blonde but I'm I kind of color it lighter so this is ginger cat very nice thank you doesn't it look like a ginger cat does it purr it does not purr but no. I love these these are such rich 
fall colors. Those are nice. Yeah, they have great fall colors. Yep. Yeah. Kind of a little out of my comfort zone. I love it to pieces. It's just not colors that I normally wear, but they're they're gore. I just love them. They're beautiful, warm colors. I'm more of a cool color person. I have blue eyes, fair skin. That's just I'm cool. You know, I'm a cool color wearer and knitter, but I love these nonetheless. And be looking for fall colors. I'm starting getting into that mood of dying fall colors. I know I can't wait for fall. I know me too. <laughs> Speaking of cool colors, I adore. Mm -hmm. I am obsessed. I need a I need a sweater. This is Russian blue, another cat color. It's a thing. It's a cat that's Ooh. gray with and it it has like in some lights it has like a blue tint and someone just Posted a picture of a tortoiseshell cat. Yeah, tortoiseshell is beautiful. Yeah. Tortoiseshell is like a you black. You don't see that many though. No, you don't. So this is Russian blue with the it's tonal with these gray, bluish gray tones. So when I turn the skin, you can see it's got you know those tones gray between gray and light blue and i adore this color i love it two pieces love it love it love it mm -hmm. so that's russian blue and i have another fall color that i couldn't decide for the longest time what to name it it's this one Put that one back. Don't make yep. So I couldn't yeah, decide what to name this one um, because it's just got these gorgeous pinks and burgundies and it has an over, it's got some orange and it has an overwash of like this beautiful burgundy. And I'm thinking it's it's red, it's kind of vampire-ish. So I was trying to think Fine of a- of wine country. We could call it wine country, we totally could. You want to call it wine country? Yes. I was going to call it, I was going to give it a vampire name, but I don't, I think I like wine country better. Okay. All right, so this is wine country. It is, it's, see, that's why I love naming colors on the show. It's so fun, even though I'm going to have to change the tag. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the name I was going to name it because I might use that name for another yes. product. Um, but this is wine country. I adore it. We've been to wine country in New York, haven't we? Yes, many times. Several times. We have a beautiful winery up here near us called Millbrook Winery. And it's so fun to go there. I love it so much, particularly in the fall because you can see the grapes on the vines. And you, you can get a tour, like uh, Millbrook has, has a tour of how to make the grapes. We should do that again. Mm-hmm. They actually have a jazz series. Oh, we should maybe do that soon. They still have that? I haven't heard that. Have I'm sure they have it. I'll have to check it. So, wine country. Awesome. And that's it. Okay. This is a tortoise shell skein that kind of got to the bottom. But it's a really pretty one. <laughs> so. All right, so that's the shop update. There is no bag this week. I want to talk a little bit about bags. We have a whole bunch of bags in our shop and too many because fall bags are coming out. So we're going to do a little clearance sale on bags. And now this is the third coupon code I'm giving you. So all bag yarn sets are on sale. You can use the coupon code new bag. New bag. New bag. And Donna also has bags on sale only the, the single bags in her shop and each listing has a link to donna's shop so if you just want the bag only you can go to her shop and she has them already discounted at 20 percent off so they're originally 30 dollars so they're 24 dollars. that's a really good deal um so new bag i only have one of these left so um if that's you want the yarn thing buy it in my shop and you can pick your base 
and it'll be 20% off your entire bag and yarn order with new bag. Is that clear? If you go to Donna's shop, they're already discounted. Okay. Okay. And Donna's Etsy shop is Donna's Design Shop, and the link is also down below, so you can find it easily. Okay. okay. That is it. Already? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Crazy. Go, I'm going in a pool. Well, after the dinner, I'm going in a pool. I think, I, you know, it wasn't supposed to be hot today. It's hot. We're so, going to have a fire. Are we we, still I would it? love to have a fire if it's not too hot this evening. We have a beautiful fire pit. I'll show you. It's hard already. I posted a picture of it. Oh, did you? Well, yes. I'll show it. Some people don't. Some people are not on Instagram. Is this a chimney? We have a chimney. A nice one. We have a chimney in our yard, and I absolutely love it. It makes great fires. And it makes great fires. And maybe I'll put in some footage of our fire <laughs> if we have one. We'll see. So, again, if you want to do some shopping in the shop, those discount codes are active right now. And the update, by the time you see this, will already be live. But I'm sure there'll be plenty of yarn in the shop. And if there's not, just send me a message. There's a contact me form right on the website at knitstyleyarns.com. Contact me if you would like a sweater's worth of anything or anything, you know, that you don't see in the shop. If you want, just I'll work with you. Okay? Right now I can do that. In the future I might not be able to. <laughs> Stay tuned. I am busily dying advent calendar sets. That those will go on sale August 1st and the colors are beautiful. Did you see any of the colors that I did? The, the little tiny, the, the small 20 no, gram skeins? No, I haven't skeins. seen them. Oh my God. They, had, they were in my lap in the car today. I took a oh, picture. Oh, those are very nice. They're so pretty. They're, they are, my um, assistant Courtney winds them and she's like, I love this one. I love that one. They're really pretty. I must say, I'm very happy with how they, they're coming out. They're my style. I mean, I like colorful, they're really pretty. Pretty for scrap scraps and I'm probably gonna keep some, so I'm dyeing them how I like. All right, I think it's time to end the show. Yes. Oh, here he comes. No name. Tom. No, no name. No name. All right, have a great week, everybody. Yes, enjoy yourself. Knit something beautiful mm -hmm. and. Ah! <laughs> no, <laughs> cheers. Can you say cheers? One, two, three. Cheers! cheers. Good. No. Yes, Here, it's I have red. to fix this a little bit. Is it? Okay. Kitty. Um. Tab. Stop looking. Mm. Sit up and listen. Boy, is this, is, I lost something. We'll find I it. Like. We'll I don't find know. it. Lose it. I there's, found this thing. There's the bread. It was in my. Sh okay. Well, I have to stop for a second. Go I have ahead. to check the oven. Okay, it's not in the oven, is it? <laughs> no, it was on my shirt. All right, I'll put it in here. Where is it? I'll, I'll give it to you when it's when. Just put your hat on. Oh. I'll cut all this out. Thank you. Thank you. Show it with your hand, like a real podcaster. Like put it behind your hand, like this. And then put it all the way up to the camera. I can't know it fall off my chair. <laughs> it's still focusing on your face. I can't help it. I'm handsome. <laughs> I know. Okay. Okay. So go all the way up, all the way, all the way. <laughs> Jesus, Sharon, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> my apologies. That bird is going to be very loud. Tom. <laughs> dinner. Okay. Oh my god, it's terrible. So, okay, I, I gotta chase these birds away. I'm sorry. Where is he? Oh. Nests right over here. They have taken over the blue bird nest. Sparrows. Oh, sparrows are so noisy. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy that character on our show. <laughs> He's cute. He is cute. Just don't let him attack me. <laughs>